is if you go to my blog and you scroll through the last month, so where are we now? It's September 2016, sometime in July or August of 2016, if people watch this later. Um, I have a presentation uh, where I, I call the blog post Focus on Basecamp. Mm -hmm. It's my analogy for startup entrepreneurs. Basecamp as in like uh, getting to, um, on Everest, Mm -hmm. the, uh, the level at the base of the mountain. Exactly. Got it. Okay. My metaphor is too many entrepreneurs when they start are too influenced by VC speak, mm. which is I need to know it can be a unicorn or a decacorn and needs right. to be worth a billion dollars. I need lots of white space. It needs to be a big untapped market that no one else is focused on. And those are mythical. Like there is no white space because if it was obvious, other people would be doing it. Sure. So the reason I use that metaphor is when you get to Basecamp, if you raise a small amount of money from angels or seed investors, and at Basecamp, you can plot your, your climb and you may start up part of the mountain and part way up, you're like, okay, now I see it. Mm. Now you go raise five or $10 million to, to climb the mountain. Sometimes you find you're at a false peak and there's nowhere to go. Yeah. And if you've only raised one, two, $3 million, you have a lot more alternatives with your business than if you've taken venture capital. So I had been talking about Basecamp. And in that presentation, I talked about venture economics and why VCs are obsessed with ownership. So what I basically did is say, let's say I give you $2 million at an eight pre, mm -hmm. 10 post. That means I own 20% of your company. Sure. And let's say you sell for $80 million. I mean, that's astounding success by most people, right? You yeah. probably made 20, $30 million yourself, right? So I made 16. So I made $16 million and I invested two. That's an 8X, right? That sounds phenomenal, right? Sure. 8X, anyone should be- Life-changing money. money. Yeah. On the other hand, if I have a $250 million fund, I've returned almost none of the fund. Right. And it's by the way, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't move the needle and for fund economics. And you get 20% or 30%, depending on the fund, of the increase in value. And the increase yes. in value in this example would be $14 million. So the partners at the fund would get, in all likelihood, 20% of $14 million. But only or after million. we've returned the entire, entire fund. fund. So if, here's the problem, yeah. Jason, is that if you want to see your way to returning 250 million, it's pretty hard. But don't forget the expectations that LPs place on us is four times return. So we have to get a cash billion dollars, a billion dollars return yeah. on 250 million raise. That's 4X gross. And in order to do 4X gross, you've got to return a billion dollars on an $80 million exit, which is a great outcome by most people's definition, when I own 20%, I still only return 16 million. Yeah, and so if right? you owned half that amount, that's 1.6% of have the expectation, eight. like yeah. that's a drop in the ocean. Now let's then say it's an $800 million exit, like mm -hmm. that's, you know, like Huge. a maker type of Yeah, now it's outcome. a unicorn. So, I mean, that's phenomenal. And let's say that I could have held on to my 20% stake, which more often than not, you end up at 13, 14, 15% if you start with 20. You know, so what am I talking, 160 million? I still haven't returned my fund. Right. I'm 16% of the total fund. And I had an $800 million exit. Right. So 16% uh, of the expectations of me. So the only way that VCs really hit the targets that they need is they need a $3 billion exit, a $4 billion exit, a $5 billion exit. And that'll return two turns of the fund, a 2X your yeah. fund. And those kind of returns are what's expected of us if you wanna keep raising venture funds. That's why people are obsessed with ownership. Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome a new partner to this week in startups. Our family continues to grow as our ratings and the viewership program continues to grow, all these great guests. And uh, our latest partner is Dollar Shave Club. I love this product. I have been shaving every day with the executive blade. I love it. I've never gotten such a clean shave. Uh, I've been using this Dr. Carver shave butter that they do. It's the smoothest I've ever had. It's like this really thick, buttery. You rub it into your beard. And then this executive blade I have to say, like, I had to, I've had to adjust my shaving because my old blades, I had to like really dig in there. Now I just glide it right down with that executive blade and love it. Um, you can go to Dollar Shave Club right now, 
pick a razor from the lineup of amazing blades and you never have to deal with the drugstore hassle uh, or get these locked up razor fortresses ever again. You can just very easily get them delivered right to your door. And it's really cool. The packaging is very tiny. It's very discreet. You have this nice little bag. You open it up. And it, I don't feel like it's wasting any uh, environmental problems or anything. It's just very efficient. And never having to go to the store again or think about my shaving again. And just having that daily routine taken care of. And I'm throwing the blades away. And I'm using fresh blades on a very consistent basis. I've locked in to Dollar Shave Club. It is the answer uh, if you want to get a great price and have quality. You're not going to make a decision over quality or price. You're going to get incredible quality at an incredible price. I absolutely love it. So here's your call to action. This is what you got to do if you're a super fan or if you shave, <laughs> Dollar Shave Club is so confident in the quality of all their products that they're going to give you the first month free. That's right. Just pay the shipping. After that, it's just a few bucks a month. No long-term commitment, no hidden fees. Get the first month free, dollarshaveclub.com slash twist, T-W-I-S-T. dollarshaveclub.com slash twist, dollarshaveclub.com slash twist. I absolutely, sincerely love the product and been using it every day. You will look, smell, and shave like a million bucks without paying for it. Literally, you know, I don't need to read commercials for a living. I've done okay as an angel investor. I would not steer you wrong. I genuinely have gotten the best shave of my life with their executive blade. It is amazing. Go ahead and go to dollarshaveclub.com slash twist and get the best shave of your life at a really fair price. And just think of the cognitive overload. You never have to think about shaving again. I love it. All right, let's get back to this amazing episode.